creating a safer environment for motorists and pedestrians. That is the goal of a pilot project from the city of Tucson. And News 4 Tucson's Zach Briggs tells us this project involves adding protected left turn arrows to busy intersections. The Tucson Transportation Department is working with the U of A to assess whether protected left turns are needed at Speedway and Campbell. Right now, drivers inclined to turn left are met with the green ball, which allows them to squeeze through traffic gaps. What that ignores, though, is the fact that that driver has to watch not only for oncoming traffic, for people making U-turns, but for bike riders and also pedestrians. Steve Kozacic and the Pedestrian Advisory Committee are pushing for protected left turn signals at major intersections throughout the city. It means that you can't make your left hand turn until you get the green arrow. In a letter to TDOT, the committee cited the Federal Highway Administration, which stated that all crashes would be reduced by 99% if protected left only turns were implemented. If it helps with safety, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. Tucson drivers are not that great anyway. They should try it here and they should try it on Grant and Alvernon. That's a bad intersection. TIDA is working toward adding flashing yellow lights as the citywide standard for left turns. Department officials say having protected left turn arrows at every intersection would potentially result in gridlock. But Kazachik believes safety takes precedent over minor traffic delays. Uh, let's not waste this time. Let's just get these things implemented throughout the city where we have double left-hand turns and where we have major intersections. Zach Briggs, News 42.